Nice shot. The number one most common mistake when it comes to using a handheld repointing tool. This should be an informative video. Here we go. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. Hopefully you're going to find this video helpful today because when I'm watching YouTube videos, it could be a review about these handheld repointers. It could just be someone repointing a set of darts. I see one common mistake and it seems like everybody is making this mistake. Now the problem there is it's going to lead to possibly breaking your point while installing that or even worse, you could weaken the point while installing it into the barrel. And then later on down the road, when you're playing darts, your point is gonna snap off flush in the barrel. We, know, we all know what a huge headache that is. You gotta send your darts to get drilled out, get that broken point drilled out. You gotta soak them in vinegar for about a month, or you can use this stuff, alum powder, alum powder, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but you can use this stuff and uh, you can remove that broken point or you can dissolve that broken point within just a couple hours. I'm gonna have a link down in the pinned comment so you can check out the directions on how to do that. And in case you're wondering, I happen to use the Designer Pro Black Repointing Tool. I got that at Darts Corner, somewhere right around 40 US dollars with a discount code. They also have another one with a handle on it that I think it's a couple pounds cheaper or a couple dollars cheaper. Also recommend that one. And Harrow's just came out with a new one or it's been out for a little while right around that same price range, 40 US dollars with a discount code. So I highly recommend all three of those. I know Christmas is coming up, good time to get a repointing tool. But what do you see? We grab the other camera and I'll show you how, or I'll show you how to avoid that one mistake. And then I'm gonna show you a couple other tips at the end. So you'll have all the confidence in the world when it comes to repointing darts. Here we go. Okay, hopefully I can explain this clearly so everybody understands, but here we have our repointing tool. The dart barrel is screwed all the way down onto the threads here, and we have our point that's ready to be installed into the barrel. I tightened up that with this four millimeter Allen key, so that's all tight there. Now, one of the best features about this repointing tool is this piece here. Now, see how that moves freely to the left or to the right? It also moves up and down. Well, it's supposed to do that because this is a self-aligning tool. So when you get this all set up, ready to be torqued down with this eight millimeter wrench, here's the mistake that I see everybody making. They're grabbing right here and then torquing this point down. Do not grab onto the self-aligning tool here or the self-aligning piece here because that's gonna cause your darts to go in cockeyed you know, worst case scenario is you could actually break the front of the barrel. Uh, another scenario, you actually break the point while installing, or another worst scenario, you weaken the point while installing only to have it break later on down the road. Now, let me show you what happens when you grab right here. Now, does that look lined up to you? Or, I mean, you could grab it this way, you're holding on there. I mean, look at that. That is not straight at all. So, here's what I do, guys. I get it lined up. Let's see. All right, that's lined up. I have to hold right there. And then you can use your eight millimeter key. Simply give it a couple spins. And there you go. That's installed. So again, do not grab right there while you're torquing down on the point. That's just going to lead to potentially a few very bad things could happen. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps. And now I do have a couple more tips for you. Okay, so there's a couple scenarios you may run into that'll cause you a little bit of panic while repointing darts. Now, this one is when you go to install a point and then after you're done installing, the point just slides out, no resistance whatsoever. So in that case, it's okay to use one drop of, this is what I use, Loctite Super Glue. And I actually use the precision pen because it allows me to use just one drop. It's very accurate and just one drop will come out. Anyway, one drop into the top of the barrel and then you go install your point as you normally would. And then that Loctite super glue will hold those points well enough, but it doesn't hold them so hard that you'll never be able to get them out again. So it will allow you to change the points out in the future if you have to. So that's one scenario and now the other one. Okay, so there's one more scenario that you may encounter while repointing a set of darts. The point is just gonna fight you. It's not gonna go into the barrel. There's gonna be a ton of resistance. Now what you can do there and what I use is just one drop of bicycle chain lube. You can also go raid the kitchen, use some olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you wanna use. 
But again, just one drop, what I do is lube the back end there, and it should help the point slide into the barrel just a little bit easier. And uh, again, just you have to clean up with soap and water afterwards. If there's excess oil on the barrels, that's not a good combination. But all in all, what I would recommend is if you get a repointing tool, practice on an old set of brass darts until you feel confident, and then you can go ahead and repoint your match darts. Well, anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. And again, in the pinned comment, there's going to be directions in case you do break a point. You can use that alum powder, and it should dissolve the point within a few hours. Well, anyway, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below on your own suggestions to repoint darts. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.